Hello, my name is Brent Clemens, and I am the husband of Pastor Suzanne Clemens of Trinity United Methodist Church. Over the past 30 plus years, I've worked uh, for Valley Oaks Health, currently as a licensed clinical social worker in the position of Senior Director of Clinical Services. Many of you may know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and it is my honor to share my story and to talk about my passion of helping others in regard to mental health issues. When I was a freshman in college in the late 80s, I had a very difficult experience of losing one of my dearest friends to a car accident. Naturally, this led to significant grief, but I also struggled with depression. I did not have coping skills. Um, to help me through that period of time and I began to self-medicate with marijuana. It was some years until I sought treatment and was able to heal um, my trauma and move in a direction of prolonged sobriety. I share this experience because it's important that when we consider helping others that we know how to take care of ourselves as well. Over the past year, the effects of the COVID pandemic have been dramatic to mental health for each of us. Many of us thrive on contact with others, and that has been difficult in having to isolate. Um, I've used the example of my mother who is an introvert and enjoys spending time by herself and finds that's a way to re-energize. However, months into the pandemic, she acknowledged that it was extremely difficult and she really needed to get back to being close with friends and visiting with others. Over the past year, mental health agencies in our community have had a great deal of difficulty keeping up with the need. We've seen significant increases in depression, anxiety, and uh, unfortunately successful suicide attempts. While mental health agencies can't keep up with this need, it's extremely important that we find ways to support uh, our loved ones and individuals around us in addressing mental health needs. As I stated earlier, taking care of ourselves is important uh, to be able to help other people. So what do we do to take care of ourselves? Activity is always beneficial to preventing depression. What kind of activity that may be is individualized. Exercise, for one thing, is an ideal way to manage depression or to, to stave off depression. Other things to do are self-care. What are the things that you enjoy doing? When are you able to identify that you need to take a break from work, need to take a break uh, from responsibilities, and just have some time for yourself? Obviously, prayer life is important. We also have a lot of meditation apps that are accessible uh, that will help with guided imagery, relaxation, finding ways to just simply take care of ourselves. And obviously, those of us who have trusted friends, family members, even members of our congregation uh, can be very supportive. If these things aren't helpful, professional help may be needed, and it's important to access that where you can. What are ways to take care of others? Well, first and foremost, listening. Having an open ear and being willing to listen and reflect to the individual who's in need. Supporting individuals, encouraging them simply demonstrating that you care for the individual you're talking with can go a long way to helping. There are also ways that we can help others by being active and volunteering. You don't have to leave the walls of Trinity to know that Trinity has a caring ministry that supports individuals in need. Whether the need is financial, emotional, access to doctor's appointments, and other things, Trinity's Caring Ministries is a vital support to our community and our congregation. I will also highlight two agencies within our community that are extremely um, 
helpful in managing uh, mental health issues. The first one I will talk about is Mental Health America, which supports a lot of education for community members who are interested in learning how to support um, and assist individuals who are experiencing depression and may have some suicidal thoughts. There's also training in mental health first aid, which can equip uh, lay individuals um, in developing some skills to assist with managing mental health issues and knowing when to seek professional help. The National Alliance on Mental Illness, which is also frequently called NAMI, is a wonderful uh, support to family members and individuals suffering from mental illness. They always are in need of volunteers, financial support. Um, it's, it's an extremely important agency um, and support to our community. I want to thank Trinity for the opportunity to provide uh, my story and some information on mental health services and ways that we can support our community and congregation. Thank you.